Welcome back. On this tutorial, I will show you full workflow of real world scenario, real world task using Git and GitHub. We'll have repository, we'll add our user developer into our repository. Developer will clone our code, we'll make a branch, make his task, push it, make the pull request. We will review it, approve it, he will merge it and we'll see how everything is working. Okay, real world task. You start working for some company and then giving you task. This is repository of our application. This is web application. This is how web pages looks like. You see, it's a public domain. You can go, by the way, check, check it out. You see, hello from Dennis Stachov. This is help page version. So your task is change the background color to gray and the color of this text to blue. This is only what you need to do. And also, yeah, just uh, bump the version. Uh, probably it will be version 1.1 kind of, yeah. So all the source code for this is located here. You see, this is a Git repository. It's public, so you can clone it, but you cannot push any changes to it. So in order to push changes to it, I need to give you right access to it. And I'm asking you, what is your GitHub username? You remember, we opened the GitHub username is adv-devops. So this is our GitHub username. So our manager or team lead can go to the settings of his repository, go to the collaboration and teams and add and invite external people to work on this repository. Add. So this is a database of all GitHub users in the world. So my username is adv-devops. Let's see. Oh, this is my, yeah, this is me. And this is somebody else you see with a very similar uh, name. So this is me. Which access I want to give to my developer? Read, try, try edge, write. I need to give him to write. So recommend for the contributor who actively push to your code. I'm going to give him write access. Add to this repository. Pending invite. So now this guy got email. And this is the email that uh, you will get if somebody will invite you to their repository, invite you to collaborate on this repository. You can click view invitation, accept it. Here's your invitation, just accept it. And done. Now you have, you see, now you have push access to this repository. Great. Now we can start working. Okay, I'm on my Linux here. Let's go to this repository, ADVIT. Repository, where is this URL? Yeah. So now I have access to this repository, not only to read, also to write access. Okay, let's clone it first. Clone it, copy it. Let's go to here, git. Okay, let's go to this folder, AWS running flask. Okay, here's the repository. Let's go to that folder template. There's two files, help HTML. This is HTML page. Let's nano help HTML. Okay, what was our task is change the background color to gray. So let's create gray and color of this text. Let's change it to blue. Yeah, so it will be blue. And also let's bump the version. It will be 1.1. Right. Uh, I updated everything. Get status. But I'm on the master branch. I'm not in the in my branch. This is my mistake. I need to work on my branch. Git checkout dash b and and let's call it task 001. Luck. Switch to the new branch. Nice. The git status again. Okay, git diff. What is the change? It's just I, I want to check what I change it. Uh, so I change it here. Color gray here version. Well, yeah, looks good. Okay, git commit dash am updated colors then git push okay i need to copy paste this command i'm pushing to remote repository okay i push to it see i'm here now we have two branches let me just refresh it i have branch master and task so i want to compare and pull request make pull request pull request updated colors and you see here a reviewer suggested it just even giving me who need to review my code. So yeah, request review and a create pull request. I'm finished it here. Now I need to wait until this guy ADV 4000 will review code and will approve it and I will be able to merge it. So this guy got email also, you see, 
ADV update colors, somebody updated it and requested you to uh, review his pull request, okay? This guy need to go and review. Okay, you see, I am the reviewer right now. Uh, the ADV develops requested you a uh, review uh, on this pull request. Add your review, okay, let's see. Okay, this is the change is what he did. I just checking that he did uh, make any, ch any mistakes or something. Okay, black, he changed it to gray. Okay, good. Here, he gold, he changed it to blue color. Yeah, looks okay. And version, he bump up version to 1.1. Yeah, all looks good for me. No any complaint. Uh, yeah. I can put here, you see, some comments for him. Uh, like, nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Single comment. Uh, and I can submit, basically, my review. Review changes, approve. And usually people write LGTM. Look good, look good to me. Submit review. Basically, I'm approving this request. You see one approval. It's V. It's approved. This is my comment. That's all. I'm back to the developer. So this is what developers see. Okay, he see it's approved. He see, he see this message. Nice. Look good to me. Approved these changes. Okay, I can merge it. Match pull request and confirm merge. All done. Delete. Always delete. Make a repository clean. Changes updated. All good. I updated the code. You see, three minutes ago. It... All great. And now from here, git branch. I can git checkout master. Git pull. To get the updates. And delete the branch. What it was named? Task. One, zero. That's all. I did my task. This is the whole workflow, basically. And by the way, because we pushed to the master, I have some automation created here. So right now, this code is automatically will be deployed to my website. And this URL, you see, it's still showing 1.0. And the background is not gray. But my automation on the background will automatically right now take this code and will redeploy it to my server. How to do this automation, by the way, there's a magic of GitHub Actions, and I have few tutorials on how to create it. This is for DevOps engineers, how to automate stuff, automate a deployment of your code. Not super complicated. So I all invite you to learn. It's really, really great for your resume, for your knowledge as DevOps or cloud engineer. And here you go. My page just updated, gray color, blue text, version 1.1. You see, everything worked fine. So we successfully completed our task using all Git and GitHub uh, rules. I hope you enjoyed it. It was my pleasure teaching you. Hope you learned something new and really interesting. Good luck in your IT career. Bye-bye.